Meanwhile, Kavanaugh was at the White House for a second straight day, but again did not meet with President Donald Trump. The president said he was totally supporting Kavanaugh and rejected calls for the FBI to investigate the accusation against him. White House correspondent Mark Irons reports. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Lauren. President Trump agrees with the Republican lawmakers you just heard from. He thinks Democrats should have brought up these allegations much earlier. This is a terrible thing that took place, and it's frankly a terrible thing that this information wasn't given to us a long time ago, months ago, when they got it. They could have done that instead of waiting until everything was finished and then all of a sudden spring it. But that's what the Democrats do. That's what they do. It's obstruction. It's resist. It's whatever you have to do. President Trump was asked about Judge Kavanaugh during an Oval Office meeting with the president of Poland. The two leaders later appeared together at a joint press conference in the East Room of the White House. And again, Judge Kavanaugh became a central topic. I feel that the Republicans, and I can speak for myself, we should go through a process because there shouldn't even be a little doubt. There shouldn't be a doubt. Again, they knew what they were doing. They should have done this a long time ago, three months ago. Not now. President Trump says he feels terrible that Judge Kavanaugh and his wife and daughters have to go through this. He says Kavanaugh is a, quote, great gentleman. Lauren. Does President Trump think the allegation against Judge Kavanaugh will delay his confirmation? The president says he's okay with a delay so senators can get to the bottom of this. He says we want everybody to be able to speak out and speak up. Lauren. White House correspondent Mark Irons. Thank you, Mark.